Alright, this is a uh, new style for the Profi OS 4 library. So this is a fully responsive style. This one is an audio flicker. Um, right now I'm showing in red. There will be multiple colors on the library. Um, so if you haven't uh, heard about fully responsive effects, I'm going to show a bunch here, but you can actually read up on it. Um, so what fully responsive effects are is now instead of um, a number of things where we would do random um, or we'd have like small animations, um, the actual positioning of your blade, both in terms of the angle of the blade, as well as the z-axis or the turning or twisting of the hilt, will actually affect um, individual styles, and that all happens in real time. Um, so it's uh, uh, coming for OS 4, so you will need OS 4 to run all these styles, um, but I'm getting my library started up. So this is the first style. This is a, an audio flicker. Um, so this is a red audio flicker, you see. Um, now with this audio flicker, um, I've included a bunch of transitions. Um, and also all of the responsive effects. So for responsive effects, um, there's a responsive blast. And what that is, uh, typically blast will have a random place. So it will place itself randomly on the blade. Now it's going to actually move based on the angle of your blade. So it gives you more control over the location of the blast. So it's just using the angle of the blade to change that position of the blast. Same thing with Responsive Clash. So Responsive Clash will actually follow similarly. Um, responsive Clash actually has a little bit different than the blast in that Responsive Clash actually mirrors the lockup. So there's a localized lockup which I'll show. Um, so this way if you're actually doing choreography with someone or you just want to make sure uh, to have consistency, again with Clash, the old Clash, it would just be a random location on the blade um, whenever you did it. Now it'll actually keep itself in the position of the blade based on the blade angle. So it'll be there as you clash. And that actually li lines up with where you're going to do your lockup. So there's also now a responsive lockup. In responsive lockup, there's a transition for it. And now it actually moves the lockup position based on the angle of your blade. So as you're locked up with somebody, it'll actually, as you move defensively, move down the blade. And then as you move towards them, it'll move up the blade. So it gives you a lot more realistic effect. And then there's transitions in and out. Um, so for responsive lockup, there's actually, again, there'll be a quick flash. And then there'll be kind of an absorption of the power. So I'll show that one again. So there's a quick flash, a localized lockup with the responsive. And then it fades out, and it has a full bleed effect. Now OS4 is also bringing in uh, Lightning Block. So Lightning Block we did have on the fork, um, but now Lightning Block is part of the main OS, and this uh, is a brand new animation for Lightning. Um, so it's meant to be like Mace Windu um, in, episode, in Episode 3 when he's blocking the Force Lightning attack, etc. Um, so this has a, this is what I'm calling a hybrid fully responsive style, in that there is actually an animation that's going to run itself, but based on both the angle of your blade as well as turning of your hilt, you can actually change the how the lightning attack is going. Um, so this is the force. Oops, hit that button twice. So this is force lightning. So there's an animation now. As you tilt your blade up, you can actually focus that lightning attack. And then also, as you turn the hilt, you'll see the intensity of that lightning changes. So be a little more intense, a little less intense, a little more intense. So it actually reacts to both the blade angle and the turning of the hill. And then it does have the transitions in and out. So the animation is going to continue to run. That's part of the style itself. Um, but by changing your hilt angle, uh, by changing your blade angle, or by turning your hilt, you can change the intensity as well as the location of that lightning attack. Um, now it is meant to move randomly, so it's going to continue to do that. Um, but that's now built into the style. Um, and then another new uh, lockup state for OS4 is Melt. And Melt is meant to be like uh, in Episode 1 when Qui-Gon uh, is cutting through the door. Um, and this is, again, a responsive style. So it's a... Uh, this one actually responds to the turning of the hilt, just like in the film. So as I turn that hilt, it'll get the material hotter, a brighter yellow. You can turn it back to cool it with an orange. And it actually changes the size of that marker here. And then it does have transitions in and out. Um, and then there's also a responsive drag. And drag now will actually, as you turn the hilt, it can go smaller, or you can make the, the drag area larger. And it just responds to as you're turning that hilt. 
so that's the responsive drag. Um, and then there is a responsive stab now, and uh, there's going to be transitions in and out. So this one will have a wipe in and a wipe out uh, on stab. So that's the stab effect. So it's a little similar to melt, but stab is a one-off. So stab just happens when you do it. Whereas if you hold the auxiliary button and do stab, you get the melt effect. So there is a difference between stab and melt. Um, and then in addition now with OS4, there's actually a new color wheel. And that color wheel is introduced within the style. And what that does is for effects like melt, which actually has a uh, transition from a yellow to an orange on this blade, on other blades it would be a red to a yellow. Um, if you if you use the regular color, uh, just color wheel that's default, it would change that color. Now we don't want that, so the new color wheel is using a variation is built into the style, so it lets me do color change with the full color wheel. Um, so. so as I turn my hilt through color wheel, I can go with pretty much any color possible. And it's really, you can really fine tune it just with a little bit of turning of that hilt. And then when you get to the color you want. So now this color wheel being built in the style, now that, that melt effect in particular won't have changed. So it's going to stay the red to yellow that I want it. Um, the original M39 will really change that color. But then all the other effects are also still there. So you get your lightning block. your localized locker. And all the other effects. So the all these styles now in the library that have the, the color wheel, that means that the color wheel is built into the style. It will have a starting default color. Um, but then you can change to any color on the spectrum that you want using it. Um, so this is the first of many to come uh, for the OS4 responsive styles. Um, but hopefully enjoy.